Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? <sighs> so let's get right into it, yo. I apologize that this video is coming out relatively late and that some other video is going to, uh, Cop Craft is going to come out uh, a little bit late today. I went out and got new phones with my family and you can never just go out, switch providers and get a new phone easily. So I do apologize unless you know how that stuff goes then you probably already know why I was late. But with that being said, we got ourselves some sacred beasts to talk about, man. Oh my god. This gargoyle was actually pretty hype this week. Um, seeing that we've had a c good amount of like random types of monsters or in you know beasts supposedly, it's been really cool to see what it would be like you know for them to I have these ideals pretty much be branded into them because of said human that uh, takes over their abilities and powers. But we still have little to learn about uh, old boy who likes to show up at the worst times, Mr. Klein. Um, but to think that whatever we kind of learn from, you know, the werewolf guy about the other people, it's always usually something that either helps out in the long run of, you know, how to in their suffering without so much suffering or to even just understand like where they're coming from at certain times and points you know and why they may be fighting the way that they're fighting so it's nice to see um, them taking that part of it you know seriously uh, this guy was like a super super ridiculous amount of um, you know cockiness not cockiness as much as like he whatever he said he pretty much was like yeah that's that's how it's supposed to be done and if you don't do it that way you're probably a heretic you know you're probably evil and stuff like that and that's kind of how i picture him like with the whole justice thing i mean even when his teammates didn't want to fight anymore probably because their captain was taken out and you know the one guy who actually took him out didn't really say anything how he was taken out unless he was even like oh a secret person sneaked in and took him out, and 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 you know the girl who made you guys. So we gotta go find him or do whatever you want, man. I don't know how he explained or like got himself out of the situation of, hey, you should do this, and once you go and do that, uh, you're gonna find out that I was lying or I'm the reason why such and such happened, and they kind of just don't care, you know, like. It's been so long that they've been in these bodies. It's been so long that they've actually been the incarnates that a lot of them already were at a point breaking point of I don't want anybody, you know, controlling me or I don't. Some of them didn't want to stop fighting until the fight was actually won, you know, so it's these it's these types of things that give these characters really interesting overall narrative. Um, and not only that when we were fighting them we could easily get you know like a good couple of battles in but now <laughs> now all of a sudden you add the guy who started all of this into the mix and him giving a bullet to the gargoyle guy makes the battle a lot more difficult than it actually should be um i just i just didn't expect him to show up even at the end to pretty much just like rub it in his face as well you know and to not get to see what's going to transpire or like how they're going to handle their difference with each other man I I I I, I, I can't wait um the other part that's really messed up about this is he's straight up been shot by this bullet more than once now um our Hank has literally been shot by the God Killer bullet twice, and clearly, that might be a sign that this man just might be a little bit higher than a God, um, which would be pretty cool, but I highly doubt it. Um, but yeah, it looks like we're going to get a little bit with Kane overall with the party or whatever he's supposedly throwing, and because of it, I. I think it's going to be a situation where 
he's going to probably have to retreat. And I, by retreat, I mean the main bad guy is going to probably have to leave uh, this party at the end of the day. Maybe he might even push uh, the captain to actually using more of his incarnate power for longer, which might actually start having some of side effects on him. I see him pushing himself extra hard for the person that he wants to destroy to kind of get revenge and at least know that the person that started this is at least taken out of the picture now all you have to do is take out the people that really didn't deserve to be going around uh as like this so i'm really interested in this show as a whole man like i haven't seen shows like come out that kind of do this traditional path progression path in the show where it's like oh yes we are going to show you a monstrous person this monstrous person is going to come out and fight after the said fight he is going to lose and we're going to move on to another monster like that has been the formula and i really don't see anybody complaining about said formula but the only thing i do see that people don't like about this show is the fact that um we really don't know what could happen to the overall main character it definitely feels like one of these shows that once he's done with his job he has no real reason to be around so uh, I think people just already are kind of guessing that is his end game conclusion is oh I killed everybody I needed to so I'm just gonna disappear and never be shown again you know so if that is the case it is what it is um, but knowing that this party and that uh, pretty much everybody is going to be there next week it should be a little bit more of a look into the grand scheme of the bad guy uh the next week's episode is called the king of beasts so it even kind of gives you an instance thinking that he either is going to show like reveal his true power like his full transformation form or he's going to just have um the captain fight and we're going to find out that once he beats whoever he beats uh, that he is truly king of the beast. So, regardless of the fact, I do apologize again. I will be dropping uh, my Dragon Ball Heroes or Fairy Tale video just to kind of um, slot out this little bit of wait for Copcrafts that I still got. I still got to watch the show, so I feel really bad. I haven't had any Wi-Fi connection and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm really far behind, but it doesn't take me long to check out these things, and I'll just keep Monster Hunter going so I can just start up the next video. Actually, no, I won't keep Monster Hunter up so I can upload faster. So, with all that being said, I'll have a new game in the background for Copcraft, but I hope you guys had an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case you are watching this. But you know, yeah, boy, I gotta drop that daily content. So, with that being said, I will definitely talk to you guys in the next one. So, peace. I can't wait to fight the new version of you and destroy you. Should be dead in this hit right here. What? Bunkai. Bow.